It's week two of the CFL season. That's Canadian football for you American viewers. Let me know if you want to know more. And we have a candidate for play of the year already. And what a play it was. This is what I love about all the different football leagues around the world. Whether you're a fan of the NFL, the CFL, or exclusively the movie The Longest Yard, the Adam Sandler version, there's something to enjoy here. Anyway, Winnipeg Blue Bomber Janarian Grant makes a heroic effort to bring a 90-yard punt return to the house in this one. But let's take a look at the play. And it starts off with the Rough Riders absolutely bombing a punt out, actually out kicking his team's coverage, making Grant have to adjust to the ball. Grant picks it up and proceeds to make five defenders miss as he cuts to the sideline and stiff arms the next two. Grant continues down the sideline, outrunning the Rough Riders special teams, evading two more tackles in the process thanks to some good blocking by his teammates. Finally, a last failed chance by number 24 who collapses to the turf after the miss. Let's count that up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally 10. 10. 10 defenders had the chance to tackle Grant, and all failed with him taking the punt 90 yards to the house. A spectacular play by the all-star returner. Grant has been one of the top returners in the CFL since joining the league in 2019, after a short stint as a returner for the Baltimore Ravens in 2018. After Grant's big score, there was no turning back for the Blue Bombers, as they would continue to score at will on the Rough Riders and put up a dominant 45-27 finish. The Blue Bombers now sit at 2-0 on the season and are the odds on favorite to win the 2023 Grey Cup. If you're American and you've never watched the CFL, I recommend you give it a try. There are definitely some weird rules, only three downs for instance, but it's probably the second best professional football league in terms of player quality. If you look at the XFL or the USFL, for example, like half the players on those teams are CFL cuts. The CFL has also been around forever. The league's existed for over a hundred years. It's well established. And again, not the NFL, but a very entertaining product, I think. But let me know your thoughts and let me know if you'd like to see more coverage from the CFL, especially because the season runs at a different time than the NFL down below.